Welcome to another Invisible Wheelchair Podcast Tapping Recording. In this recording, I'm going to take you through a simple tapping session related to the podcast you just listened to. This is a simple tapping session as a starter to your tapping journey. This is not meant to be a full tapping session, but a starter that you can build on as you do more tapping and more of what your spirit needs to tap on comes out. If you have not tapped before and don't know or understand emotional freedom techniques, better known as tapping, then I suggest you go to FocusedHealthyFamily.com or FamilyOCD.com. Go to the About EFT page to find out more about how to tap and the tapping process before you begin this recording. This recording will not go over those details about how to do EFT or tapping. What I'm going to do is say a phrase, give you a space to repeat that phrase as we continue to tap. I will for myself start at the point above the eyes at the eyebrow and move to each point with each phrase or word that I use. I will not say the point name during this tapping recording. Remember again, if you have not tapped before, then please go to FocusedHealthyFamily.com or FamilyOCD.com and go to the About EFT page to find out more about it. Make sure to keep breathing normally. Keep hydrated. Drink plenty of water as you tap. And most of all, be conscious of what thoughts come up during your tapping. I call these pop-ups. They can be words, phrases, songs, pictures, or feelings. These could be very important messages from your mind as to what needs to be worked on, so you may want to write them down and add those pop-ups to your future tapping sessions. I would not brush them off lightly, no matter if they don't match what you're immediately tapping on. The mind does not bring them up lightly. So, let's begin now. This is the tapping recording for podcast number 7. Enhancing the sponge ears. Let's start this tapping out by taking a deep breath now. I'm going to start by tapping above the eye, and I'll be moving with each statement. I had many influences during my childhood. Many of them have served me well. I hope that I am influencing my children in a way that serves them. I want to create messages that positively influence myself and my children. I want to create examples that positively influence myself and my children. Some may not serve us. Some may. I am open to looking at this differently. I am open to looking at each of these influences. I wish to live in my heart and spirit. When making decisions for my children, when putting out messages to my children, I wish to live in my heart and spirit when I am an example to my children. I am willing to change all myself so I can be a better parent. I am open to all ways that I can be better during the sponge years and beyond. 
I am accepting myself and my family. I am working on releasing the influences that do not serve myself or my family. I am willing to change. I am open to loving who I am now. I am open to who each of my members of my family are. I am accepting of all. I am loving of all. So let's take a deep breath. I know that was a s some simple phrases, but I hope you can go over them a couple of times and then be very open in your mind as to what comes out from those phrases. What does your mind say about them? Is there resistance in there? If there's resistance, what is it saying? And what is it saying about you? So as you hear these resistance, the more you do this tapping, be open to tapping around those resistance and find out what this is really about. Do these tappings every day and be very open to what's going on in the mind, the real messages that are back there that will help you to overcome them instead of just pushing them back down. So remember, keep tapping, talking, and transcending your life into new heights. Thank you for tapping and keep tapping and have a great day.